Hello, I am Fabio Oliveira, a second year PhD researcher in Henley Business School in the Department of Marketing Reputation. Sorry I couldn't be with you alive today, but I was allowed to record my presentation. My PhD project is under the brilliant supervision of Professor Nada Kakabadze and Dr. Nadine Kam. I am presenting for the first time this paper, which is the second paper I produced as a result of my PhD project. This paper was submitted this week to the International Journal of Management Review, a three-star ranked by CABS, and it is a systematic review. The context of this review is in which digital technologies being used by companies to automate workforce and process in several industries. Artificial intelligence models, chatbots, robotics, and data analytics are replacing analysts and field managers in all operational aspects of the value chain and increasingly sharing decision-making and contribution to humans. Cloud computing, cybersecurity are now strategic priorities of the companies. The relevance of digital technologies for board of directors was evidenced during the COVID-19 pandemic and digital technologies supported even very traditional board of directors which adoption of digital technologies ranged from the broadband connection to the use of cloud as a service software to keep their companies working. However, it is not clear in the literature how digital technologies impact board members' strategic decision making. In this study, I systematically explore the literature to answer two questions. First, which digital technologies are adopted to support strategic decision-making in companies in the last 21 years. Second, how do digital technologies impact on the board of directors' strategic decision-making? The importance of this review is, first, if companies are automatizing strategic decision-making and operations, what are the implications for board of directors? who are responsible for long-term strategic research attraction and allocation. Second, the actions and decisions of board members are of interest in the public domain, as the decisions and actions of public companies directors have a pivotal role in the wealth of stakeholders and the whole environment in which companies operate. Third, it is important for practitioners and academics to understand the changes promoted by digital technologies. In a way to guide further research and expand board of directors' scope of digital governance. Last, for our knowledge, this is the first and timely systematic review to explore accumulated knowledge in the intersections of these fields of research. The term digital technologies refers to the set of digital technologies that include decision support systems, cloud computing, big data, business data analytics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, cybersecurity, and blockchains. From a legal perspective, the board of a public corporation sets a corporation's policy and direction, electing and appointing officers and agents to act on behalf of the corporation and acting on other significant matters affecting the companies. Strategic decision-making is a central role of the board of directors. The board steers strategies of the company and monitors strategy alignment with execution. The role of the board in terms of strategic decision making involves shaping realistic strategic priorities to allocate resources more sustainably. Changes in firm's internal procedure or structure, such as technological, can motivate in fundamental alterations to strategic decision making. The research methodology of a systematic qualitative literature review is a rational, transparent, and reproducible study methodology for the analysis of literature and uh, results from this method helps to identify study gaps. I applied the approach outlined by Transfield to carry out the review. The main stages are planning, conducting the review, and reporting and disseminate the results. Other inquiries can replicate these stages. 
publications were retrieved from Scopus and Web of Science database. However, I found the most relevant studies on Scopus that covers over 22,000 titles. On a similar scale, Web of Science's database covers 28,000 journals. I started this review in December 2019 and I concluded it in May 2021. To carry out the search on the databases, I combined 36 terms related to digital transformation, digitalization, strategic decision making, and board of directors or top management teams or corporate governance. And they were allocated in six different queries. The query that generated the best results in terms of articles relevance to answer the research questions is query 4. The search on the databases resulted in the number of articles that you can see on the stage 1 of the diagram. I read all abstracts of the 2,248 articles highlighting keywords using an Excel file downloaded from the database. After, I selected 333 articles that had in their abstracts terms with relationships between each other, for example, artificial intelligence and decision-making. After, I designed a set of inclusion and exclusion criteria, which resulted in articles displayed on stage 4. After, reading the introduction of the 166 articles, 82 were selected to answer the two research questions, because the others were too technical or didn't apply technology to support strategic decision making. This graph shows there was an explosion of publications in 2009, which demonstrates the novelty of this field in academic study. A declining number of publications occurred in 2020, maybe due to the pandemic of COVID-19, which drew the attention and the thoughts of publications. This graph shows the percentage of qualitative versus quantitative studies among the 82 papers published. Most of the qualitative papers are related to the board of directors and the impact of digital transformation in management and strategic decision making. The second graph reveals that the most widely adopted research method for the study papers is conceptual papers with 45% and questionnaires with 16%. In the non-empirical studies, most of the explorer literature reviews are conceptual reviews of the literature and proposed frameworks. Conceptual models are the most employed study method for the non-empirical studies, followed by literature reviews. Therefore, there is a scarcity of empirical studies in board of directors linked to digital technologies. This slide shows top 10 academic journals by number of publications and methods published in each journal. Most of the papers investigate the relationship between digital technologies and strategic decision making were published by the Decision Support System Journal, totaling 9 papers followed by the Journal of Business Research with four papers. The top 10 journals publish 35% of the total papers of this review. In conclusion, there is a concentration of non-empirical studies, which may indicate the novelty of the field or difficulties of researchers to access board of directors for carrying out exploratory studies. Most of the work is conceptualization about the usage of digital technology by board members or top management teams. Amongst the 82 articles listed, only a few have explored or investigated the effects of digital technologies on board of directors. This slide shows the share of digital technology under discussion in the 82 select articles of this review of studies is organized on digital technologies around the antecedents and outcomes of digital technologies adoption, conceptualization, as well key findings from these studies. Now, I introduce some highlights from the discussion session of the paper. Board of directors need to assess their strategies and efforts to allocate the right resources and attract the right talent. Board of directors must ensure implementation of robust data governance policies and mechanisms that equip the board to oversee and assess 
the adoption of digital technologies in their company's operations. Although decisions can be automated with AI, directors can still be accountable by the court and legally liable for any failure of these systems. The mechanism in which AI compute decisions is still vague, as the AI models cannot have a dialogue with a human to explain its reasoning of decision making. AI can support board of directors with pattern identification, which would point to potential problems and expose liabilities, therefore facilitating discussions between non-executive and executive directors. AI systems can give non-executive access to timely information and increasing their confidence to challenge their executive peers by higher board of directors informational autonomy. This diagram represents the digital technology's effects to stewardship, resource dependence and informational autonomy that will enable board of directors consideration of several new topics addressed in this review with influences in board of directors' strategic decision-making. My interpretation is that the board is positioned at the center of a digital ecosystem with several positive and challengeable impacts for directors. The contribution to literature is primarily contributes to the corporate governance and board of director theories particularly with studies investigating mechanisms to improve the way a board of directors works. Research, attraction and allocation, the contribution of this review is extending discussions regarding the digital knowledge a board of directors can bring to the company, information skills, access to key constituents, or capture to truth its relationships with the market and its capacity to attract, establish strategic partnerships. For example, a digital savvy board director can understand the myriad of topics and information that are generated and interpreted through digital technologies. Digital technologies seem to have the same effect as the internet, which authors find can reduce opportunism and information asymmetry for some transactions, reducing transaction costs, potentially make information widely available and improve information flow to board of directors. It can facilitate consensus based strategic decision making by reducing dependence and dominance of cumulative information between board members. Directors may use digital technology as a communication medium to get closer proximity with stakeholders. A closer proximity of a director to key member of staff and top management team members can enhance board of directors' understanding of how automation is being implemented. About contributions to practice, this review can inform board members to lead educational programs to provide training that enables leadership understanding of the key elements of digital technologies to directors, such as cybersecurity skills to enable board members to scrutinize management to guarantee sustainable accountability and risk mitigation. Board of directors can consider adaptations in board composition by hiring digital experts that can contribute to the development of governance mechanisms that can contribute to cyber resilience and make digital technologies adoption of a strategic business issue. For regulators, the actual literature suggests that regulation of public interest needs to recognize that, that digital technologies, including AI and its subfields, are not an autonomous intelligent or complex decision maker, and its outcomes are a function of its human design and sometimes their creator's interests. Therefore, regulating the tech industry and submitting AI product services for testing and licensing to a recognized agency would be a regulatory option 
to make AI and digital technologies more accountable and transparent to all. The no vote of digital technologies used by board of directors and the absence of knowledge on the applications of technology in strategic decision making can be considered a limitation of this review. However, we suggest that the relationship of digital technologies with board of directors strategic decision making is a rich field for more qualitative exploratory studies that can review the motivations and impacts of digital technologies on the board of directors way of work and the process of strategic decision making. More quantitative research can measure firms' performance of digital savvy board of directors or the influence digital technologies have on information asymmetry and firms' performance or competitive advantage. Action research and experiments with board of directors usage of digital technologies are an opportunity to clarify conceptualizations and effects of digital technology usage in strategic decision making. On conclusion, accumulated knowledge about the effects of digitalization on board of directors strategic decision making is, is scarce and fails to explore the comprehensiveness of digital technologies on directors' experience and effects in board of directors' dynamic and way of work. Current literature suggests board of directors need to adapt and modernize governance mechanisms considering digital technologies as strategic assets, which requires mitigate financial and reputation risks and explore digital resources to enhance firms' long-term performance and capabilities. Current knowledge provides to readers a non-empirical display of digital technology's potential to support better strategic decision-making through conceptualization of predictive capabilities and mechanisms of digital technologies. However, it lacks empirical evidence to contribute to the progress of knowledge in the intersection of digitalization and the way strategic decisions are taken by board members. Thank you for watching and please send me your comments to my email and if you want to read my, my manuscript, please let me know and I will be happy to share with you all. Bye bye and thanks.